Hi everyone, I'm doing a few videos on tuning systems and the one I'm going to start with is Equal Temperament because it's the tuning system used in virtually all Western music today. So using the keyboard to start with, let's see if we can figure out how Equal Temperament works. Right, we're looking here at the notes around middle C which, as the name suggests, is pretty much in the middle of the keyboard. This is just a little MIDI keyboard. It's got a couple of octaves uh, this way and two octaves down here, four octaves altogether, or about half the size of a full-size piano, which has 88 keys. But middle C is still in the middle of our set of keys. We can also refer to middle C as C4. That's what it's called in scientific pitch notation, which is a more precise way of naming individual notes. So middle C is C4. The next note up is C sharp four, then D4, D sharp four, E4, F4, all the way up to C5. The note that's an octave above C4. So there's our octave. Now these numbers up here, 261.626, 277.183 and so on, are the frequencies of the notes. So when I play middle C, the sound that you're hearing has a frequency of about 261.6 cycles per second. In other words, the sound is vibrating back and forth about 261.6 times a second. And that unit, cycles per second, is also known as a hertz. The next note up, C sharp four, has a frequency of about 277 cycles per second or hertz. And now obviously as we go up in pitch, the frequency also goes up. The question is, by how much? How are these frequencies related. Take a look at this chart where we've got the same notes as here, just written as a column, and the frequencies again. And what I've done here is figure out the difference in frequency. In other words, this number take away this number. So that gives us a difference of 15 point 557 hertz between the C sharp 4 and the C4. If we now move to the next note up, a D4, and take the difference of these two frequencies, we get 16.482. The difference of the next two is 17.462, and so on, all the way up to the last pair. That's the difference between the C5 and the B4. And that difference is 29.368 Hertz. So the frequency difference is changing. But if you look at the ratio, in other words, if you divide this number by this number, and so on, this number by this number, this number by this number, you find that the ratio is always the same. In fact, it comes out to be 1.059. So the ratio of the frequencies of any two successive notes remains the same as we move up. That's what we mean by equal temperament. It's not the difference in the frequencies. It's the frequency ratios that are the same as we move up through the notes. Now, a ratio of 1.059 means an increase of 5.9% in frequency in going from one note to the next. And that's going to be consistent throughout the whole spectrum of notes. Each time we move from one note to the next, we go up in frequency by 5.9% each time. Now, 
If we go back to this figure here, in going from C4 to C5, we make 12 jumps, each with this ratio. Now I'm going to use my calculator to figure out what that means overall in going through the octave from C4 to C5. Okay, so here's my calculator, and the first thing I'm going to do is type in this number here, the frequency ratio between adjacent notes, and that's going to be 1.059. And now I'm going to hit this button here, which will raise that number to a power, and the power I want to raise it to is 12, because there's 12 notes in the scale from C4 to C5. So now I'll put in 12, and what that will do is multiply 1.059 times 1.059 times 1.059 12 times. And you'll see the result I get is 1.989, etc., which is very, very close to 2. And if I'd used a precise number here, that would have been exactly 2. And that ties in with what we said earlier, that in going from one note to a note that's an octave higher, in, for example, C4 to C5, we double the frequency. Almost all Western music today is based on the system of equal temperament, in which the frequency ratio between successive notes is always the same. And in music, by the way, the word temperament just means the tuning system that we're talking about, the pattern and placement of intervals between notes. There were other tuning systems in the past, some are still used today. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about the one that the Greeks used more than 2,000 years ago.